Let's add an Active Directory organizational unit in Windows Server 2019. We're in Server Manager. I'm going to go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers, and we see a list of all of the different organizational units on the left-hand side. Now, the ones that have little pictures in them, I know it's kind of hard to see, but those are organizational units. The ones that just look like folders with no pictures on them, those are called folders. And so the difference between the two is an organizational unit you can apply a group policy to. Any of the, uh, the users or the devices or objects that are in there, such as computers or users, can have a group policy assigned to them and they will be affected by it. And if you're not in an organizational unit, you're going to only be affected by the default domain policy. So this allows us to be a little bit more granular. For instance, let's say in the test environment, we don't want anyone to see their control panel. Well, we can block that using a group policy. Now, let's go ahead and create a new OU. Right click on our domain, click on new, and click organizational unit. I'm going to call this one HR for our HR department. And we see that the box is checked for protect container against uh, from accidental deletion. I'm going to click OK and explain that. So what that means is I can't just right click on it and choose delete. You're going to get a message that says you don't have the privilege to do that. So what you can do is if you go to view advanced features, we see a few more folders that show some advanced things. Then we can go back to HR, right click and go properties. Now without those advanced features checkbox uh, being checked, you're not going to see this tab right here that says object. So now that we see it, we can uncheck the box that says protect from accidental deletion and click OK. Now I can go back in if I ever want to delete that in the future and it will allow me to delete it. So we're going to have a lot of different videos that will cover group policies and how group policies are applied to organizational units. So take a look at the playlist and you should see a lot more information if you're interested in organizational units and how group policies use them to apply to users and computers.